Good morning, welcome back. It's packing day again. My name is Morgan, if you are new, and today I'm gonna to be packing for an exciting trip. Maybe it's not as exciting as other trips, but it's an exciting trip because I'm getting to go home to California for a few weeks, which is a big deal because I have not gone home for that long since we moved. So I say home, I guess this is my home, but I just mean to my kind of childhood home, I guess, to stay with my parents for a few weeks um, while my husband is away training. So my husband's in the military and he's going on a two week training and I want to go home because I don't want to be here by myself. So that is what I'm going to be packing for. You can see behind me this mountain of laundry that I need to put away or fold and put away because that'll probably be a lot of the stuff that I'm packing. So I've got to tackle that. I've got to pull some things together. Going to show you a little bit of prep and pack my favorite kind of video to make. So let's get started. And as always, here's the before my guest room where I'm going to be packing all my stuff here. I'm going to be bringing that blue suitcase. I hope that that's all I need to bring, but here is my starting point. Like I start every packing video with just showing you my little area. I have not pulled together much at all. That's my electronics tech cord bag. Um, I'm going to be bringing these two bags. This one is mine. It's a little, um, what is this called? Like burlapy jute tote bag that I got. So I'm going to be bringing this and then I got my mom one as well for her birthday. Um, cause we go to Newport a lot in California. So I'm going to be bringing these. I'm going to be bringing some snacks. I'm going to be <laughs> trying to pack some of this wine. I may bring this carry on type bag if I can't fit everything in my suitcase. And then I have my um, toiletries bag that I still haven't even unpacked from Boston a few weeks ago. So if you haven't watched that packing video, you can watch it. But yeah, it's only been a few weeks since Boston and here we are packing again. I feel like this video will definitely span across two days. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, I leave on Saturday. So I can only do so much today because I work full time. So um, I need to just fit this in at my lunchtime, maybe some after work today, and then tomorrow at um, lunch again, I'll be finishing up. But yeah, got to address that over there, <laughs> which I don't want to. And I've got to do some other stuff. My friend just had a baby, so I'm gonna take her dinner tomorrow. So I've got to like, fit that in somewhere. We're hanging out with friends tonight and tomorrow. So I've got some stuff to do, but here we go. This is the first day of packing that'll probably span across at least one other day, maybe on Saturday too. We'll see how it goes. So I've just went and packed my first packing cube. So I got all my packing cubes out. And I just started putting things in them. So this is socks, underwear, bras, sports bra, all that kind of stuff. I love these packing cubes because they can zip and like compress to be smaller. So it kind of like squeezes it in um, and just makes it easier to pack. So I have no method at this point. I'm just packing what I feel like I can pack right now. Um, in between working and trying to get everything else ready. But yeah, so I packed my first cube here. I'm just gonna start like compiling things that I know that I'll be needing. Um, I'm doing a lot on this trip actually, because like I said, it's a few weeks, so that's a decent amount of time and a lot is happening. So my brother's graduating with his MBA, so we're going to that. I'm going to a friend's bridal shower. Um, I'm gonna be working. Uh, we rented like a little beach cottage for a few days. So we're gonna be going to the beach. Um, I'll be like hanging out with friends in the evening. I'll be just doing a bunch of stuff. So I feel like I need quite a few things for all those different activities. But the good news is I have access to laundry. So since I'm staying at my parents' house, um, I can do laundry and things like that. 
and I don't need like some toiletries because I have stuff there still. So I hope that cuts down a little bit on packing, but I just know that it's gonna come down to it and I'm probably gonna overpack anyways, but all I have is one suitcase. So that's all I can be packing really. So I'm gonna try to fit it all in into that suitcase and then my backpack. Okay, well, I've just started pulling a bunch of things from my closet, which looking at this pile already, I feel like this is a good sign that I'm probably gonna overpack, but I might whittle it down a little, but those are things that I'm interested in packing. It's just easier to do off camera sometimes, but here's a look at my closet, the situation that it is. Um, and then I've also just started putting some more things in packing cubes. So this is like t-shirts and pajama-y type things. Um, I think I'll bring these denim shorts. I'm really looking for a pair of denim shorts that are not distressed. I don't know where I'm gonna find those, but I've had these for many years and I feel like the distressed look is just not really what I'm going for anymore. But I'm gonna bring these. Here's some t-shirts and things. Yeah, we gotta figure out this. And I'm definitely probably gonna be bringing more than this. And I need to like think of outfits to put together instead of just clothing pieces because that's always where I get in trouble. But that's currently where we're at. And hello again. I always do this where I don't finish recording what I meant to record. And then I just take it up the next day. So it is Friday now. Um, it's early in the morning. I woke up really early to prep my friend's dinner that I'm gonna take to her that just had a baby. So I did that this morning. I got ready. I feel like I was really productive this morning. Um, I do have quite a bit packed in my suitcase at this point, which is great because I don't have that much time anymore. So today I work a half day because we have summer Fridays, which I'm super, super happy about. Um, so I only have to work till 12 today, but then I'm gonna go drop off that meal to my friend and I need to finish packing and I need to change. And we're going to my husband's work friends going away party. So I have to do that this afternoon. So I won't have a ton of time later today. So I'm trying to get it all done this morning but we'll see how that goes. So I have made packing progress. Um, I feel like I probably will end up needing to take this duffel bag, which is not ideal, but I just feel like I can't fit it, everything into my one suitcase. So I'll see. I'm still like attempting to, but I just hate feeling, I don't know, limited to that. If like I start feeling like I need to be packing more. Um, so I don't know. And I forgot that I'm going to Disneyland for a day too. So I need to like bring something to wear to that. Um, so still trying to figure out all that, but I've made good progress. And then tomorrow I do have a little bit of time before my flight cause it's not until the evening. And we are going to our orange cherry class in the morning, but I think I still will have a little bit of time tomorrow after that, but I just wanna get most of it done now. So yeah, I don't know what, what the next step is. We'll see. So you can kind of see here that I've made good progress. This does not look very great, but I fit most of the packing cubes in here. I've got my straightener, my curling iron. I'm also bringing bottles of wine. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to like pack some bottles of wine because my parents wanted me to bring some of those back. So that's what this is. Um, yeah, this packing cube is still has some room in there. I haven't zipped it up on that side. I'm bringing at least those pairs of shoes. There's my backpack, but I feel like I'm going to have to bring that duffel bag as my second carry on, but we shall see. So I do have a small gripe about my compression packing cubes. And it's that I don't know if they fit as much as my other packing cubes. Um, I don't really know how to test that, but I just feel like with my normal packing cubes, they're so much thicker. I don't know what that word is, deeper. <laughs> they're a lot deeper than the compression ones. So I'm not really sure. I'm gonna use a little bit of both. Um, but I do have a little gripe with those. I still love them for things like 
socks, underwear, workout clothes, that kind of stuff. But I feel like when I'm trying to pack a lot of clothing items, it gets a little difficult. I don't know. So this is an example of a compression one. See, it's pretty shallow. Um, yeah, I don't really know how shallow that is, but then you compare it to like this normal packing cube and it just feels a lot deeper. And I feel like I can squeeze a lot in this one, whereas this one, you're pretty limited. But I get that that one's purpose is to be shorter, shallower. <laughs> so I don't know. If you guys have either of these and have a preference, let me know. Progress is being made. I feel like I just keep coming back and <laughs> filming the same spot, so I apologize. But I feel like I'm just needing to be speedy, so that's why. Um, so I basically have one half of the suitcase packed, so that feels really good. Um, I still have mostly empty space over here. However, since I've decided that I'm going to bring this duffel, that is making things a lot easier. So I put a pair of shoes in there. I'm bringing some snacks. Um, I might bring my purses in this bag. So I'm going to bring a small crossbody and then another um, bag here. And then maybe I'll even put my jackets in there. I'm not sure, but this makes everything a lot easier that I've decided to bring that duffel. And I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because um, you're allowed, you know, two carry-ons basically. So that is the current status. I'm still <laughs> deciding what else to pack in this packing cube because I don't feel like I've brought enough outfit pieces. Um, and I just checked the weather and it's supposed to be in like the 70s, which is great, but I feel like I packed for like super hot weather. So I might pack a few more pieces that are better for layering. And then I'm gonna either wear that or bring that on the plane. And then I'll probably bring like a pullover sweatshirt. I feel like I'm kind of at a standstill now. Um, yeah, I just get to this point in packing where I feel kind of stuck. Don't know if that is relatable to anyone, but I feel like I could pack more, but I also feel like I could do without packing more. I still have to put like my makeup bag and bathroom bag, things like that in, and probably another pair of shoes, and then pack my carry-on backpack with like my laptop, my work laptop, everything like that. But I just feel stuck. I feel like, yeah, not getting anywhere right now. I'm finishing up my work day and then I have to go see my friend who just had the baby. I was going to drop off the meal to them and I'm just like not in the right mindset to pack anymore right now. So I may or may not pick this back up um, when I finish packing and head out the door, but we will see. I hope this provided at least a little bit of um, inspiration or guidance if you're new to traveling or don't travel very frequently and just like to see um, other people pack. I don't know why I like watching that all the time, but I do. Um, so I might try to film a little bit on my California trip because I am doing a lot and I would like to do some other types of content videos and things like that. So maybe I'll try to do that. If not, maybe I'll just post a reel or a YouTube short or something. But I really love these packing videos. I hope that, um, you found it a little interesting. Like I said, don't know when I'm going to end this vlog, um, to be determined, but thanks for sticking along this far. <laughs> Making progress. I'm very stressed. <laughs> it's Saturday and I'm leaving in a few hours, but I have mostly everything packed. That bag is full. This bag is full. My backpack's getting full and I'm in crunch time and I still feel very scattered, <laughs> but it'll come together very soon. Thank <laughs> you.